Humanoid Nation. So this video is by SF Sketchfest. It's an afternoon with Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain versus Pulp Fiction. My God, man. Pinky and the Brain, I grew up with that shit. I had no idea who the voice actors were until like five years ago. Five to six years ago and got to know that it was Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche. Man, you take for granted when you're a kid yet you don't know who these voice of actors are because they're amazing. Especially Rob Paulson who does like the 50 States song or maps around countries around the world. Oh my god. That guy knows that shit off by heart. But yeah, these guys are voice legends and are a big part of my childhood. So, they're doing Pinky the... It looks like, yeah, they're gonna do Pinky the Brain, but it looks like they're gonna do a scene from Pulp Fiction. Oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. All right, so enough stalling is that. Let's full screen this, and let's start this shit. North. This is the first Hitman scene from Pulp Fiction. Wait, 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 wait. Are there children? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have kids here? Do we have little children? Please say no. How little? We'll swap it out with PG words. Oh. Uh, no, we will. We will. Uh, Man, to get the kid out of the room. Had I known, I wouldn't have made poopy words. It's before. not. It's not too bad. There's just a couple. Yeah, of at least we got a nostalgia critic getting these two. Okay, I'm gonna be doing a scene for him. So here we go. Um. Okay, now, tell me about the hash bars. <laughs> That's something that you never thought you were going to laugh my say. <laughs> tell me about the hash bars. Damn it, Pinky. What do you want to know? Well, hash is legal there, right? Yeah, it's legal. It, it ain't 100% legal. I mean, you can't walk into a restaurant, roll a joint, and start puffing away. Only supposed to smoke in your home in certain designated places. <laughs> Bray, how could you? This is the end, my friend. Those are hash bars? Yeah, it breaks down like this. It's, it's legal to buy it, it's legal to own it, and if you're the proprietor of a hash bar, it's legal to sell it. It's legal to carry it, which doesn't really matter because you get a load of this if the cops stop you. It's illegal for them to search you. Searching you is a right the cops in Amsterdam don't have. Ooh, that did it, Brian. I'm freaking going. <laughs> That's all oh, I such a huge smile on face. Yeah. So much nostalgia right you'll now. You'll dig it the most, Pinky. <laughs> but you know what the funniest thing about Europe is? What? It's the little difference. It's a lot of the same shit we got here, they got there, but. I've already said shit once. <laughs> Brain said shit. You've heard it, you can't unhear it. <laughs> a lot of the same shit we've got here, they've got there, but there, they're a little different. Examples? Okay, well, okay. in Amsterdam, you can buy beer in a movie. Oh. I don't mean in a paper cup either. Ooh. You can a glass of beer like in a bar. In Paris, you can buy like beer in Like in McDonald's in France. Also, you know what they call a quarter pounder of cheese in Paris? <laughs> Gerard Depardieu? <laughs> Gerard Depardieu? Is that what he said? <laughs> they, they don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? No, no, because they've got the metric system there. They wouldn't know what the trick of quarter pounder is. Saved it for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do they call it? It's called Royale cheese. Oh, Royale cheese. What do they call it, Big Mac? Big Mac's a Big Mac, but they call it Le Big Mac. Uh -huh. Le Big Mac. Le Big Mac. What do they call a Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go into a Burger King. <laughs> but you know what they put on French fries in home instead of ketchup? What? Mayonnaise. Uh, I forgot about that line. That was disgusting. <laughs> and I don't mean a little bit on the side of the plate. They fucking drown them. <laughs> Fiction, I almost yeah. puked. Oh, yeah, those are the voice legend themselves. Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche. Those two are always awesome. They're always great together. They have such great. What the fuck? 
I see two people make it out. Hardcore style. I think that was the guys from the office. But yeah, Maurice LaMarche and Rob Paulson. Always amazing voice acting legends. What else can you say about them? It's like, I grew up with these guys. I never knew who they were until like five, six years ago. Then I got to appreciate what they do. Basically every other voice actor. Because like, yeah, when you grow up there was this shit, you don't want them. You don't care. You're just watching cartoons. But man, once you grow up, you want to know about this stuff. And it's so fascinating. I seriously need to watch that Netflix documentary. I know that voice because all the voice actors are in there. I was like, I gotta know who like did the voice of Rocky and Bowinkle, because I hear she's still alive. And like Mel Blanc, of course, is the king of voices because he did Bugs Bunny and almost every single character in the Looney Tunes. And the new Looney Tunes is kind of awkward to watch because like the voices is almost the same voices, but it's a different guy. But it's not the same though. But I gotta get my mindset out of that because it's they're trying their hardest to make it work. But anyways, I need to watch Pink of the Brain over again, or Animaniacs or anything with them over again, because god damn, those were classic. They so were classic. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation, and Humanoid Freak Out, bye! Los chilenos no multiplicamos, hay un problema, lo solucionamos, por todo el mundo los chilenos andamos, de bonichoro ahí no paramos, tecnología muy avanzada.